what up, what up, what up? Just wanted to give you guys a, a, a quick status update. Let y'all know what's going on. Last week was an uh, up and down week for us. Emotionally, as far as with the trip. First off, the, the flight to Banjul from Barcelona got canceled. So, I had to rebook, and I'm talking about double the price though. <laughs> I got the tickets for all four of us on the original flights for under 1600 It was like 1549 or something like that. So, uh, double the price now though. So, but it's all good. We doing what we have to do to get there. I was just trying to save and allow us to see some other places as well while we on our journey, but it's, it's better. It, it works out better. But we leave on the 24th, so we have less than a week, man. We have less than a week. And uh, we'll make it to Banjul on the 26th. Monica at home, packing up stuff right now. I'm about to head back, put the car up for, uh, like on Facebook, Facebook, and uh, maybe Craigslist or something like that. But I already talked to a couple people who want it, but they want me to teach them how to drive a stick shift. <laughs> and I don't have time. So, uh, but anyway, it was an emotional week, man. We felt like, we felt like last week we had hit our peak high as far as our emotions and being excited about coming over there. And so now we back in realistic, realism, real life mode. And of course we still excited, but now we looking, everything is clear to us. And of course we, it's, emotional and we up and down in emotions because we about to leave our families and you know our friends and everything like that and of course the the life the way of life we've been living which I'm not too mad about that I'm I'm ready to do something different you know, I like change so but it is emotional man but we hit our peak because we've been in a on a high for the last two and a half months because we've been knowing that we was going to do this. So, but yeah, so like I said, the tickets got canceled and for the flight, but I rebooked, so we're good to go. We was going to come originally on the 22nd and get there on the 25th, but now we're going to leave on the 24th and make it to Manjul on the 26th. Uh, we are relocated. 100% we relocated as far as what we're bringing we bring in everything that's essential to us uh, Ma and I decided to you know purchase more uh, bags to check in for the flight so we're gonna bring what's essential to us on this first trip we're not shipping anything over uh, and that's gonna work out better for us uh, we're just ready to jump in the fire we're ready to leave we're not looking forward to the the test. And y'all know what test I'm talking about. We're not looking forward to that. We didn't want to participate in none of that. We really didn't, so. But we gotta do what we have to do. Uh, as far as us being realistic or unrealistic about the situation, about the Gambia and everything, I feel like we are very realistic about the Gambia and understand what the, about the infrastructure, what is different from over there. We're not looking to bring America to the Gambia. You understand? Other than the knowledge of certain things that services and, and businesses that we can provide. You know, so that's that. But uh, like I said, man, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. You know, let you guys know what it is. And we, we are headed to the Smiling Coast. We only have a few days left. And the smiling coast is definitely meant for us because my family, we smile a lot, you know, so it's a perfect match. It's a perfect fit. And, uh, you know, just stay tuned, man. And I want to thank you guys once again for all the comments and everything. It's a boost. and We need it. So uh, that's about it. For love. And I'm out.